Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. To be honest with you guys, I've never had anyone ask me this question to do a tutorial on the Brady Bunch intro. And so I decided why not this weekend I'll, I'll record something for you guys on the Brady Bunch. And so in this tutorial, really we're going to be covering a couple different aspects of Final Cut Pro. Um, we're going to be looking at the motion, uh, the viewer tabs in motion and scaling, rotation. We're going to do some tech stuff. I also downloaded a free... Brady Bunch font, which I will show you guys where to get in a little bit, or I'll post a link in the comments or either under the video information. But let's get started here. I have pictures just of myself here in my dorm room, and honestly, I didn't take the time to get a blue background. Um, if I was at home in a studio, I would totally do it. So I'm just going to use these photos for now and just drag them. Uh, let's see. The first way we're going to do it is probably double click. She dragged the first one in, and we're going to go ahead into the Motions tab, and we're going to change the scale up here. Now, this scale is really important uh, for this effect. You're going to have to change it to around 30, um, 31 maybe. I'm going to take it 31. So if we subtract, you can see here what the effect looks like so far. It's just a small picture. So do that to all your photos. Drag them all in. We're going to have eight different layers here. Oops, wrong way. Let's drag them all in. And so go ahead and keep getting all your layers in. And then at the bottom track, I'm actually going to take a color. Since I didn't do mine in a blue background, I'm going to make a blue background by selecting all of the clips, dragging them up one level. Let me open my timeline a little bigger so you can see all these levels. Okay. So at the bottom, I'm going to go into my text, and I'm going to come into my, let's go into a mat, grab a color, controls, I'm going to go ahead and make it a blue, matching a little bit of the blue Brady Bunch color, putting that at the bottom. So now behind all these videos is a blue, but we need to get all the size down to 30. So copy and paste the number 30, or 31 it was, copy and paste that number into all these different video layers. And we already did the first one, so you're not going to have to do the first one. But come down to all of them and paste. Okay, so now they're all really small. We should see them all in the middle here. And we just got to drag them over one at a time and line them up. Okay. Now if I remember correctly, in the Brady Bunch, the maid servant takes up the middle one at the end, but I'm not going to do that. And instead they have text that also flies up that says the Brady Bunch. So it's looking kind of like the Brady Bunch. Uh, like I said again, the pictures are all done in blue and the background's black but it'll still work for this effect. And now with the, we're going to come into our text again. Grab some text. Plain old text. Come in the controls. Type in the, enter, Brady Bunch, enter. Because the Brady Bunch was all in their own line. So each the, Brady, and Bunch had their own space like this. Now I'm going to go ahead in the controls again. And we're going to change this to a font. And it's down here after you install it, go in my little uh, about this video or something in the information and get the link. You can download this for free and it's called Brady Bunch Remastered. Okay, let's check the size on that. Okay, it's really small so we're going to turn it up. But actually, that's about good for now because we're going to drag it to the top and you can see it's it's not quite distinguished enough. It needs to have a drop shadow. So come into your motion tab, come in here and hit drop shadow, select that, and now you can see a drop shadow is added. I like to change the softness and make the opacity up a little. And I like the scale to be bigger, but so let's open it up to the size we're going to want it. We're going to want it to be about right there, but you see that line space between each of the words, the Brady Bunch, there's so much space between there. So you want to change that by coming into your controls and your text, 
and change your leading and move it up. Now you can see it's all squished together, how the Brady Bunch really is. That's great. Also, one other thing, I think the drop shot is a lot thicker. So, when you come in your softness, I'm gonna just going to move that, make it a little harder. And that's looking pretty good right now. Okay? So what we're going to do now is keyframe the text to fly in like it does in the Brady Bunch. And we're going to do that by making sure our text is selected. Come in the controls. I'm going to turn down, let's turn down the size. So it's off in the distance. Maybe make it tiny, tiny. And we're going to keyframe it. You're going to key, hit this keyframe button right here in the size. And let's play it and see how far we want it to come. It's under rendered right now, that's fine. So maybe it comes out in about two seconds. It's fully out. So we're going to turn it up to the size that we want it to end at. And if I remember correctly, it's probably around there. The Brady Bunch, about there. And so then it should be done keyframing. And we're going to drag this out a little bit so it has a little time to start. Crop off that edge. And I'm going to render it. Okay, so now we're rendered. Let's play it and see what it looks like. There we go, the Brady Bunch. Um, it pops right in, flies in. I would actually make it a little quicker, and here's how you can readjust it. If you come into your text, controls, and let me zoom in here so you can see this. The keyframe is right here, and you can actually use your Z key and zoom in. And I'm going to make that actually quicker. I want that to be a little quicker when it happens. But, you know, if I had the Brady Bunch music, there we go it probably would look pretty close and then this text in the real version uh, pops out and the maids picture goes in the middle but there's a little Brady Bunch effect for you and I hope that answers some of the questions I've been getting keep shooting me more also in about two weeks products are gonna start coming out and uh, I have one for beginner to intermediate and it's some great training I'm really excited it's it's gonna be awesome an awesome launch in about two weeks and then also uh, the color corrector feature for Final Cut it's more of an advanced uh, lessons on the color corrector. It's coming out this summer and it's going to be great too. I'll see you guys later.